This ape says I drove to my AMC theater just to buy some AMC Cinema Suites for fun. And as of now, no dice yet. All good prioritized for other locations for now. Thrilled to see the progress though. Congratulations and thank you, CEO Adam Aaron and the team for continuing to deliver business results like they have been so far. Now, do you guys think and comment down below, let me know if the AMC Suites is going to be a major, major push when it comes to top line revenue and when it comes to AMC becoming profitable. Do you think it's going to be a major catalyst or just a side quest? Let me know in the comments down below. This ape said just called TD Ameritrade about the fake data for AMC on their platform, showing a market gap of 13 billion in AMC shares at over a billion. They told me that you can't trust those numbers. They come from a third party. What are they doing on your platform then? You're giving fake numbers to make financial decisions? There is zero transparency and they manipulate the numbers to fit their price and narrative. So in regards to the recent reports of different platforms showing wrong numbers, even CEO Adam Marin a few months back talked about this. What's the real reason this is going on here and what do you think should be done about it? Comment down below. Here's the current gist of the current sitch that we're in, guys. This ape says, was here when the buy button was stolen. I was as well. It was a crazy, crazy time. And comment down below if you were in this play back then. This ape also says, was here when they're up to $72 per share. I was also. I remember my AMC shares being deeply, deeply in the green. It feels like ages ago. Was also here on the two-year drop up to $3.50. Will be here for whatever comes next, AMC and Ape. This ape down below said this, let me tell you a story. I bought at $4 early. I felt like God when it started to rise up to 10 then 20. I bought more at 24 and 30. I bought even more at 45 or 50. I averaged up and didn't care. It went back down to 45 and 50 for a while. You guessed it, I bought more. I spent a huge part of my savings buying even more. I spent the last two years buying dip after dip after dip. But in the end, I'll be happy because MOAS is inevitable. This ape says they hate Adam Aaron because he shook him up to destroy their plans of bankruptcy. For AMC, Shorts took advantage of the fact that some apes only want to squeeze and don't care of the fundamentals. When they heard, oh, I don't care about fundamentals, AMC was a good target. Focus on making AMC a great business. Stop focusing only on the MOAS. If AMC is good fundamentally, it will grow nonstop and you will have your money eventually. This squeeze is just a bonus at this point. AMC and Ape. This ape says, I know there's been a lot of paper hand sentiment lately, but don't buy into it. They then said, the truth is I make 10 to 20K a month in my job, and I'm gonna buy up as much of these paper hands are willing to sell as I can because I know where we stand and I know what the payout will be in the future. Granted, there's a lot of paper hand sentiment as of recently. There really has been. The paper hands are definitely back in full force. Some apes will feed into it and make their biggest mistake of their lives but I can't do anything about it. But what I can do is stick to the script and stay strong till the end. Either way, I ride with you apes. Now comment down below if you think apes actually have been paper handing, or if it's just been the same game, or if it's just been more and more FUD circling around. Make sure to check out all these other videos to catch up on all the latest AMC Stock DD and information you need.